Hello guys, it's Dale here with weekly trading ideas for this week starting the 6th of September 2021. Before I go into the trading ideas, I would like to announce a winner of the contest we had last time. The price of the contest was volume profile indicator for Metastrader 4 and right now on your screen you should see the name of the person who won the indicator. So congratulations on winning the profile and what I'll do is I'll do another contest for the next weekly trading ideas video. The only thing you need to do to participate is leave a comment below this video on YouTube and next time I'll randomly pick one person to win my flexible volume profile indicator. Alright, so that's about the contest and let's now go and have a look at the charts. What you see before you, those charts show the British pound. Those charts are linked, so they always show the same trading instrument. And it is on the British pound where I wanted to show you the first trading idea. Uh, the first trading idea is based on a setup which is called the trend setup and I use it when there's a trend. So as you can see currently there is an uptrend and uh, when there's a trend I'm looking for significant volume clusters, significant volume areas to trade from. So uh, in this case there is a significant volume cluster in here, very nicely visible. And as you can see from this volume cluster there was strong buying activity and this means that strong buyers were building up their long positions in here and then they pushed the price upwards. Now what I think will happen is that when there is a pullback at some point in the future, pullback to this heavy volume zone which is around 1.3791, I think that those buyers from this place will defend this zone and they'll push the price upwards from there again. Alright, so that's the logic behind uh, this trading idea, the logic is trade pullbacks from heavy volume area created in a trend. All right, so that's for the British pound. And let me now show you another trading idea. This one will be on the Euro Australian dollar. So now all the three charts show the Euro Australian dollar. And uh, right there, there's downtrend. And when there's a downtrend, I'm interested in trading shorts and uh, what I want to do is look for significant volume areas. So a significant volume area is in here before the start of this strong selling activity. So it seems that sellers were building up their shorts in here and then they pushed the price downwards, right, from this heavy volume zone. Now what I think will happen is that when there is a pullback to 1.6036, this is the area where the volumes started to get accumulated, I think that there will be a reaction because those sellers will want to defend this zone and they'll try to push the price downwards from there again. Alright, so this volume cluster should work as a strong resistance. That resistance begins around 1.6036. As you can see, that level is also very nicely visible on the weekly volume profile. This one this shows how volumes were distributed throughout the whole week. And this is the heavy volume zone we are talking about. And this is the level. So that's about that. That's the Euro Australian dollar. And let's now go and have a look at another trading idea. This one is on the Australian dollar Swiss franc. So now all the charts show the Australian dollar Swiss franc and what I wanted to show you is uh, support at 0.6768 and this one is based on a trend setup. It is based on volumes which were created inside an uptrend. This is the uptrend. This is the heavy volume area. You can also look at it like this. This way you will also be able to see the volumes nicely. So what happened in here was that strong buyers were pushing the price upwards. And in here, this is a zone when they were adding to the long positions. Now, when there is a pullback, those buyers should defend their longs, which they placed in here. This zone is important for them because they placed a lot of their longs there. So they'll want to push the price upwards from there again. Simple as that. All right, this significant volume cluster, also nicely visible on the weekly profile. This is it. All right, so that's the trend setup on the Australian dollar Swiss franc. What we need to do 
Let's wait for a pullback and then trade from there, from this support. Now, if you guys would like to learn more about trading with volume profile, then I recommend going to my website. This is it. It is at trader-dale.com. And to get that volume profile education, you want to go in here, trading course and tools. So you click that, you scroll down a bit. And what I recommend is getting the elite pack. This is the elite pack. There is a video which describes everything that's included in the elite pack. In short, it includes volume profile video course, my personal trading levels, which you'll get every day, volume profile pack indicator, and a couple of bonuses. What you'll also receive is free tech support. And what that means is that our support team will set up NinjaTrader 8 platform for you with my indicators. They'll load up my workspaces for you, they'll connect you with the data feed, and they'll do it completely free of charge as a part of the service we provide the members of the Elite Pack. All right, so that's about that. That's about the recommended trading pack. I hope that you guys liked the video. I hope you found it useful. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy trading.